Dear Mom, I've come to the realization that our relationship is dysfunctional, toxic, and emotionally abusive, and that I will be far healthier and happier if I remove myself from it. For my entire life, I feel like you've put me in a hole that just now, for the first time, I'm beginning to climb out of. Therefore, I ask you not to contact me again. I do not do this in anger, but rather in profound sadness. Any further communication from you is unwelcome and will be thrown away, unopened, deleted, and unread. Despite everything, I wish you all the best for your future. Jane. I like it. Am I doing the right thing? What do you think? So glad I'm paying you all this money. You know, I can't diagnose your mother without her being a direct patient of mine. That being said, we've discussed recognizing features of borderline personality disorder, narcissism, and emotional abuse. What you experienced with her was real. And your need for boundaries is valid. I feel so guilty. Do you remember what we talked about? About lovingly distancing yourself? Okay. Boundaries can be created with love for someone else and with love for yourself. If sending that letter doesn't feel right, you don't have to send it. She just really wants to do it this weekend. And she won't stop calling me. About spreading your father's ashes? Yeah. Have you thought about just going up for the day? I have, but I also really need to finish this script. I know it's kind of a Hail Mary, but like I do my best writing up there. I can't tell you what to do, but I do want to voice, you know, after some of the things that you've shared, I'm concerned. I don't want to discount your need to mourn, but when we go home, it's very easy to get sucked into an old family dynamic. You know, I just like, I can't not go and spread my father's ashes. Like I have to go and spread his ashes. The only obligation you have is to yourself, okay? Your well-being. It's okay to choose yourself, Jane. Hard. I know. You look really pretty. Thank you. I like those earrings. Thank you. Oh. Sorry if my breath smells like onions. I hadn't noticed. Okay. I don't, we don't need to test it. No, I would not, I would not do that to you. I have mints. I want mints. What's new? Or smoking. Again. Nice. 
I was supposed to have it in hand today. Where's the fucking script? We start production in three weeks. We are bleeding cash. And you're telling me to fucking wait until Monday? Uh, this is always part of Jane's process as an artist. What process are you talking about? The process is I pay you, you give me a fucking script. I understand that you're disappointed with the script in its current form, um, but we're not worried because, you know, we've been here before and uh, we know that we're going to get you something fantastic by Monday. You want until Monday, you got until Monday. If it is not in hand by Monday, they are canceling the pilot and you will be hearing from my lawyers. There's a reason that you hired Jane. It's because she's the smartest and she's the funniest and she works quite well under deadlines. So this is when the magic happens. I wanna hear from Jane what she likes about the video. It's, it can be overwhelming for her to pinpoint. here but um but but we've just been waiting for you to come home i know i uh this weekend is the weekend that your brother and i are planning to scatter your father's ashes and uh we're just waiting for you to get here so um i just would love if you would give us a call and confirm we just haven't heard from you in a while and we just want to make sure that if you need anything a ride or or pick up from the train station just just so we know when to get you right this sunday or just sunday morning all I called about, and, and I hope your writing's going well. <sighs> Will the sound of voice disappear? While you cross every line that I've drawn And you close and you records on the lawn But you don't ever leave, do you? Hello. Jane. Hi. Oh, honey, it's so good to see you. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. I'm 
so glad you're home. Oh, come here. Hi. Oh, sweetheart, it has been so hard by oh. having you here. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. How was your trip? Too. It was fine. Yeah, yeah not yeah. too much traffic. No, the train was easy. And your coat. <laughs> right. <have> your coat. <clears throat> You look great. You look fantastic. And, and, and this is just beautiful, oh, sweetheart. thank you. I'm, I'm going to pay for that Uber. Mom, it's not. Nope, you I'm going to pay for it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want you to be able to come up more often. Well, you can pay for the Uber back to the train station. Done. OK. Are you hungry? No. Just coffee, Well, maybe? I made you breakfast. Oh. Some of your favorite things. OK. Those pancakes that you love, chocolate chip. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll yeah, eat. Yeah, I know you will. Yeah. So, so pretty. Okay. Go get your luggage. We'll take it upstairs. Okay. Come on. I've got everything here. Oh, just you can leave your shoes there if you want. Uh, can I take them? I'm oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. Of course. Just, uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll one, do it upstairs. One step at a time for me. Those jeans are very attractive on you. Thank you. They're a size larger than I would like, but. Oh, uh, stop. How does it feel being home? Uh, it's got, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's it's a change. Yeah. You know, I'm in like my my old bedroom. And we're, we're just so proud. You cannot believe the beautiful work that your brother is. The things he's making these days oh, are extraordinary. Yeah. Ever since you got back from Montana, honey. Yeah. Do you actually finish the apprenticeship or? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Well, I, I, you know, I had to come home, honey. Yeah. I was I was just curious. I didn't know. I, I'll go back. Okay. If you don't understand, sweetheart, your your brother was here in a way that I I could not have survived without him. Yeah. Enough about me. I have the the new uh, script going. I'm having some writer's block, I think, so I'm having kind of a hard time latching on to a good idea. You're starting from like from scratch. Oh yeah, right? like the very beginning. I don't think I told you that Mrs. Abernathy saw that wonderful, that last thing that you made. Oh good. Yeah, yeah she saw it. She said it was so funny. Good, the actors yeah, were really amazing. Funny. Yeah. Uh, on it, yeah. Um, I, will, I mean, I, I loved it. I've been trying to get mom to watch it, but. I'm gonna watch it. Okay. I'm gonna watch it. I just, I think you, it's just been, with your father and everything, there just wasn't really time within the past two years to. Watching. Oh, I, sweetheart, your father. It's dead. okay. Oh, I made your favorite pancakes that your dad used to make for you. I, I couldn't do the little okay, shapes, Mom, but I thought hungry. that you would like. And I, I oh, uh, the syrup, the, the, the syrup that oh, you no, like. Don't worry I'm about it. Oh, no, 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 no. Seth, don't worry about it. No, 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 no it's I, not. I know that the syrup that you like. I, I wanted this weekend for us to remember your dad. No, I am not, I think we are. I know we're here like this, together. It's very nice. This is how we used to make your eggs. I, did you notice? I did. They're beautiful. It's like perfectly just the way runny. your father used to. Did I do it? Just the way no, your dad gorgeous. used to do it. That's it's what gorgeous. I was doing. The to clementines are You did. I have been taking yoga and I find that that really helps and I have a guest pass and I would like to take you tomorrow to yoga with me. Mom, I don't I hate yoga. It's free. I don't care. It's free. You could just give it a try. Shavasana. I found I've just blossomed since taking yoga. Wow. OK, this was amazing. Thank you for breakfast. I'm going to have a cigarette, and then I need to get started. Well, good luck. Thank you. I know you'll do great. I believe in myself, too. Good. All right, if you need anything, just I'll ask. I'll tell you. OK. Oh, honey, just leave those in the sink. I'll get them in a little bit. What? Just leave it in the sink. It's fine. This feels very different. Huh? No, it's fine. We just we just leave them in the in the sink and we do them all at once. So it's fine. So so hell has frozen over. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> just just leave them. We'll right. take care of it. We want you to write. Go go. Deeply confused right now, but I will. Leave it. Good luck.
Uh, yeah. Hi, honey. I'm uh, sorry to interrupt. That's okay. But look what I found in the attic. Oh, stop. <laughs> I know. It's your dad's old typewriter. Oh, my God. Look. With paper, <laughs> still in here. Do you remember how you used to love to play with this oh when you were little? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Well, maybe it will help with the writer's block. Thank you. I'm just going to leave you to it. Okay. Jane. Yeah. It's really good to have you home. Thanks. Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um, can I borrow the car? Oh, no. Why? You don't drive clutch, honey. Yes, I do. Oh. When you were 16, you remember tried to drive the car um, and you ended up taking out the entire transmission and we're not we're not doing that again. Okay, so. that was that was a single mistake. I'm But honey, you don't drive clutch anymore. You don't drive at all. You live in the city now. Mom, I can drive a stick N shift. No, my car is very I love that car. Your father gave me that car, and nobody drives it but me. I don't think that gave you the car. Honey, I'm, I'm going to drive you. Can... you. I promise you I'm going to drive you. I just have to finish my article here. What? What article? Well, I'm writing for the Hudson Valley Chronicle now. Well, don't look so surprised. Since I, uh... when are you doing that? Honey, I've always been a big journaler. I've always written before. Journaling you... is not writing, Mom. Journaling is... Feelings. Most certainly is. And I did a lot of writing for the PTA when you kids were younger. And, and before you and your brother were born, I wrote a lot for the community center. And I did not realize that I actually have a little flair for the comedy. I mean, nothing like what you do, sweetheart. Nothing like that. But, but my people are writing in. They really enjoy what I'm writing about. My approach is unusual and interesting. And to say, I've really enjoyed it. And it's given me some... Something to do since your father died, so. Can I please borrow the car? No, I, Jane, you are not listening to me. You cannot borrow my car because you do not know how to drive I stick. Be, yes, I do know how to drive stick. I'll be back tonight. It's been set. Tell mom me. that I know how to drive stick shift, please. What, she, know, she knows how to drive stick shift? Yes. Seth, you know your sister does not know how to drive a stick. Remember in high school what she did to the bug? No, 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 she the... completely stripped the transmission. We cannot, no, absolutely not. And my car, my car is very delicate. It takes, uh, no one knows how to drive that car but me, so no one drives that car but me. No, she was <laughs> rear-ended. It's not her fault. Come on, Mom. No, she was driving with, she does not know how to, with the clutch and the transmission went she... and totaled that car and no. No, 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 no. no. The other car totaled 
her car <laughs> no. from behind. Listen, I, Seth, I am telling you that your sister, <laughs> if she just waits 30 minutes, I am happy okay, to take you, you know where what? you Mom, need to go. Hey, hey. Just, I need to finish this as I have a deadline. Okay, okay. look, I, I, go ahead. What? I'm just going to say, it's not that serious. Never mind. C can you take me yeah. to Adam's shop? Yeah, I'm just, I just have to use the bathroom. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah, you, can take, you can go with your brother in his car. I'll give you a ride. Great. We can like talk and stuff. Great. Okay. Great. No, I love it. I love that. Mom's writing now? I mean, she always wrote. Then when did Mom write? Always. Remember the Pilgrim to the Times, whatever the hell it was? The PTA newsletter? I don't know what it was, but she always did these, you know, things. <laughs> Why are you like jealous of mom writing? No, you know? I'm just surprised that she's writing. I don't know. It makes her happy. Why is mom being so nice? She's, I guess she's happier here, you know? No, she's being like especially nice. She's different since dad died. Maybe like how? Like what does that mean? She talks about how brief life is now. And that she wants to do things with the time that she has left. Okay. I still can't believe you moved back home. I was like, like proud of you, you know, that you got out. Yeah, I mean, I learned a lot. Yeah. But. Sorry. Yeah. You finally got out to go do your thing. And yeah. then you're just, like, right back at square one. Yeah, well, some fucking things are, you know, take priority. What? That died. guilty that I wasn't here for them. Yeah, well, you have like a, you have like a real, I don't know, New York thing. And... I've been doing a lot of work on myself to try to like acknowledge my needs a little bit better. Did you read the book I sent you? No. I kind of want us to be working from like the same material so that when I come to you with this shit, it's like I can talk to you about mental illness from like the same place. You know what I mean? That's why I didn't read it. Cause it's, cause it's about mental health? Mental health is one thing, mental illness is not mom. She's not sick. There's levels of it. It's not just like, it's not one thing. And I, whatever, but mom is not fucking mentally ill. Okay, remember remember when you came home with two Ds? Remember that? Yes. She hit me. She like beat the shit out of you, Seth. Yeah. She like the she snapped. That happened frequently, like fits of rage. Tell me you haven't snapped before. I've totally snapped, but I've not hurt somebody. You know, this is like shitty right after dad, but we actually don't have that much time left with her. So why don't we just enjoy it? That level of just like fury. I just want to enjoy the time we have left with mom. Cause you know, you never know. Abby had a piano recital. Okay. The night before they have it, they do like a dress rehearsal thing. 
the parent it's like a potluck the parents bring food it's it's fun yeah right so kim calls she's like i can't make it i'm tied up at work but because it wasn't the real recital it wasn't a big deal okay middle of the dress rehearsal the power goes out they get the generator on power only lasts about five minutes oh, shit. we're done abby goes home with my mother-in-law mm -hmm. i go home and i i think you knew this a couple years ago well you did he yeah. remember my my father died yes. two years ago he left us as a fair family heirloom he left us these ties oh yeah it's okay. the only it's it's the only thing we were left i i don't really know the entire story oh i do it's just long and boring okay but walk upstairs and kim is tied to the bed with the ties stop butt ass naked <gasps> there's a guy no yeah who is it it's a long guy wait the fucking Your lawn guy. guy? It was the long guy. She was fucking the long guy. Yeah. I liked him too. Oh. I was tipped. Fucking your lawn guy? Uh, well, they weren't. I, I mean, I didn't catch them fucking. They were and, obviously. And she said, I'm sorry. They no, were, I know. But they she, were fucking. She, yes. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, I worked for her. Worked for her dad. Oh, my and, God. And uh, so I'm here now. Yeah, it sucks. Adam, it's been the I'm worst. So no, no, sorry. thank you. It's, it's been the. Uh, it's on. It's been the worst three months of my life. I had to move out of the place. Where are you living now? What's going I got on? this shithole. Just a shithole. Oh, man. Yeah, I got this fucking gig. Just a fucking gig. Well, this is. Yeah. It's cute, you yeah, know. It's, it's okay. probably easy, right? You'd be shocked. I know. Well, people are terrible. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I know. Uh, but yeah, this is where it's at. Oh, fuck. This is where it's at. This is my life. What are you doing with I'm, your time? Like, nah, nah, I don't know. It's, you're, you're a sight for sore eyes. Fuck. Yeah. Adam, How I'm are so you? Sorry. I mean, dude, you've had a couple. You've had a rough go. I'm so sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, thank you. Did you get my flowers? I did. Thank yeah. you. I really appreciate it. I loved it. your dad. I know, me too. Is that why you're home? Yeah, I'm here to um, do ashes with my mom and with Seth. Nice. And, uh, and then I also have a pilot I'm trying to... Congrats. So, thank you. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with it. Okay. <laughs> so I sort of thought maybe the quiet time and, you know, being back at home and all of that would maybe help out a little bit, so... We have, like, some fucking... I don't even know, like, some My serious mantra. coffee. I Our... would love... I mean, this latte is amazing, but I will certainly take whatever else you have. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, if I no, can get another do... one of these... Yeah. let's do it. I'm... She face up or face down? <laughs> Sorry, I know. Mrs. Haynes! It's chicken parm night? No, no, no. Come on. No. Come on. Why? Stop I love it. Your mom's I, I love that for you. Fine, fine. I have to pick up Abby. Thank you. I would love to. I, I can't tonight, but can we rain check? I, I, pinky swear. Pinky. Pinky swear right now. There we go. All right. I'll. Okay. I said no. Did you just pinky prom? You pinky promised my mom. I love her chicken parm. <laughs> what? I love her chicken parm. You're you lucky. guys, you guys have a you and my mom. It's weird. I don't you're, know. You're lucky I didn't come in. No, yeah, I know because I would see you at the stove tomorrow morning making breakfast. <laughs> 
<laughs> will you uh, will you come out with me tonight? I need a wingman. Oh man! Come on, oh. I, you're never in town. I know, but I have to write. Okay. I have to write. Okay, I understand. I'm eating shit. Okay. So, if I change my mind, yeah, hit which me up. might happen, I will tell you. Okay. But for now, I just I okay. think I need to just. Pinky promise. I need to. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> That's enough. Of that. I love you. I I'm love glad you. you're in town. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I was thinking that Seth might make you a desk just so you could write here and really feel comfortable. One that's just for you and and he makes his work is so beautiful. No, I know. I, it's gorgeous. Oh, no, it is. It, it, you don't know how much he's improved since he's been away when we took that internship I I in Montana. Mm. Well, have you seen the latest thing he's working on? Have you been out to the bar? Yes, of course. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's amazing. I have to take you down to the library and show you what he made there. Oh. Oh, yeah. I had to... They're just desks. They're not just desks. And I just think it would be wonderful to for you to have something that your brother made. Wouldn't that be special? That would be lovely. That would be very special. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and you know what else I was thinking? Maybe we should change the color of the walls, too. No? That in here? Seems... No, no, in your room. Oh. I know that that color is not... I don't know. Is it soothing for your writing? Are you finding yeah. that you can write in that color? See, Mom, it's... <laughs> I... How would you be able to do your work here? I know, but honestly, everything is great. Mom, hey, um, I'm gonna go meet Adam. We're gonna go to the Seaman's. I don't know. Jane, come here for just hey, a minute. Hey, come, come here. Come here. What? Come here. Come what? here. What? Look at your hair. What's wrong hmm? with it? I never would have met your father if I went out with hair that looked like that. Let me just if fix it for you. If you had hair and a ponytail? Yeah, no. You are, it's your best asset. Let me just give it a little comb. Come what? on. Just a little tiny brush. Why is my hair my best asset? You have many is? best assets, but your hair is glorious. Why would you want to hide it? <sighs> I just had a long day. I you guess. know what this reminds me of? Mm. When you were three, I had an Avon party. Mm -hmm. And you came walking down the stairs, and you had gotten into my jewelry, and into my makeup, and into my underwear drawer. And you came down looking quite the sight. Mm -hmm. And all my little ladies started laughing and laughing. They thought that you were the most hilarious thing they'd ever seen. Mm. Look at you. You are so pretty. Thank you. I want you to have a wonderful time tonight. You will. You know, just keep an open mind with Adam. He's free now. Mom, I'm not. Mm, no, right. I'm not I, I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to date Adam. I like Adam. I know you do. It's weird. He likes you. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Please don't do that thing where you bail on me as soon as you have your first drink. OK, absolutely not. Tonight's all about you. Promise. I promise. Okay. It's jazz night tonight. Oh. I, I want the dog. She complains that she has to do all these things. Is that Kevin Doyle? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. Are you kidding me? I'm going to go see if Are it's you Kevin kidding? Doyle. No. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't. He used to stomp on my feet in high school. Mm. Excuse me. Um, are you Kevin Doyle? No. Hmm. Any relation to Kevin Doyle? Sure. It's my brother. I am sorry if this is way too blunt, um, but I really wanted to fuck your brother while I was in high school. Uh, mm hmm Well, you miss your chance because he's dead. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I didn't know that. No, it's all right. I was a prick. I mean, true. <laughs> I'm still sorry about it, though. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Yeah. What's your name? Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> well, my brother's an idiot for not fucking you.
Is there something that you like or yeah. something that we could yeah. do uh -huh. to help? Yeah. What is it? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow, girl. That's it, that's it, keep going. Sean. Nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen, is it? Good morning, sweetie. I'm surprised you let me sleep that late. That's... Well, you were out very late last night. How was your evening? It was okay. Yeah? Yeah, I was having a hard time right now. But... Yeah? Yeah. Why? Why is he having a hard time? It was just some shit happening with his wife, I think. And so I think he's trying to figure it out. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. What's, uh, what's in here? Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. Okay. Those Thank are your you. father's ashes. Your brother made that beautiful box. Um, tomorrow is your father and my anniversary, and we want to spread his ashes at 9 a.m. Okay. It will be so nice to finally put him to rest. So tomorrow, 9, yes, you can be there? Mm. We have permission? Yeah, of yeah, course. Great, great. Maybe not so late of a night tonight, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Listen, I'm off to yoga. Are you sure you don't want to come? I think I'm going to pass today. But Sarah's you. really good. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is. Uh, okay. I think you should affirm away. Thank you. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah has been amazing. She's really changed my life. And I think it could be really helpful. I, uh, I don't think if I'm... I don't... I don't think... Help a little bit with that hangover. I uh, don't think it will help the hangover. But thank you. Right. Well, I'm gonna take off. Um, okay. There's uh, oatmeal on the stove, uh, and I strained some yogurt. It's in the fridge. All right. I love you. Have a good day. I love you too. Have a good class. Damn it!
Hello, honey. Hi, how was yoga? Oh my goodness, sweetheart, I am telling you. Sarah opened my sixth and seventh chakra and I just, I feel like I can see in a way I've never seen before. Wow. And during Shavasana, I have an idea for an article that just came to me. What is it? Well, I am going to let you see it when I finish writing it. Okay. It's just right there, ready to mm. flow out. And you? I am doing okay. Uh, Would you like me to possibly look at your work a little bit? Maybe I could help. That's, I'm in a very good state. Right no, now. that's really nice. I don't have much for you to look at, so. Uh, but thank you. Yoga. I'm telling you, Sarah will open that sixth chakra for you. Mm -hmm. You'll have a different way of seeing. She sounds like a force. I'm telling you right now, I cannot wait to get upstairs and start writing. Oh my God. A little shower, a little bubble bath. Mm. Whoa, a and twofer. Oh, yeah. Holy oh, shit. Yes, it's lovely. Thank you, honey. A little yeah. shower, a mm -hmm. little writing. Mm -hmm. I feel ready. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, can I get a breakthrough, please? Sarah, if I come to class, can I get a breakthrough? doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It was a good work day. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a leg? Uh, I think I have one. I have one. Yeah. So how's your pilot going? It's... Here. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I don't. Yeah. There's nothing to say. No, I know what that's like. Mm. You have been dealing with a lot, and I want to say thank you. Of course, I mean, it's like my duty, you know? Just thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Do you miss Dad? At all, like? Yeah. I miss him a lot. <laughs> Sorry, fuck it. Uh, not for that shit. I saw Dad cry one time. In the laundry room. I think it was after... I think it was after his dad died. Grandpa. Yeah. And he was always, like, so stoic. And I feel like he never felt like he could just sort of... be. You know? Yeah, I... yeah. Maybe you need some time in the laundry room. I'm gonna head in. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay. Don't be mad at me. You're smoking indoors which does concern me a little bit. Do you want to talk about it? I mean, it's, I've always wanted to smoke indoors. I've never had my own place. I caught my wife tied to the bed, fucking another man, so. 
I'm gonna smoke indoors. Okay, I hear you. Um, how's the script? I have nothing. Nada. Nada. Is that a problem? Yes, because it's due in two days, mm. Mm. and I have nothing. Mm. I'm considering going with my mother to one of her yoga classes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it okay that I love your mother's articles? I, I didn't know she was doing that. You can actually on the they they send I signed up for the newspaper's newsletter because they'll package all of their best things and a lot of times your mom's articles are the best things they get sent. Oh. Little highlight of my day. I'm like greatest hits, huh? Dude, on my fucking break at the coffee shop so I don't have to fucking kill myself. That's right. Don't worry about your mom's your mom's fucking articles. Right. I was actually reading one of your mother's articles. I was like, oh, man, Jane should adapt this. I should adapt my mother's writing. Listen, it's IP. <laughs> IP is IP. <laughs> oh if I hear IP, oh, my God. IP. Jesus Christ. Like, if I don't have the script done by Monday, I'm fucked. You know what you need. What? No. 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 Do not. Do not. I have to spread my father's ashes tomorrow. Are you an alcoholic? I, Are you an alcoholic? not a good question to ask because I probably... You I'm, I'm, a, I'm a heavy drinker. <laughs> I drink heavily. And we're grown-ups now. And you say that, we're but you have not ups. seen me destroy a wine bar in the West Village. It is... We'll just have one. What do you have? I'm so sorry. I'm going to run upstairs and I'm going to change really quick and then we can it's go. It's too late. It's too late. Jane. We were only allowed to do this between 9 and 9.30 this morning. Your brother had to go to work. It's too late. We missed the day. The day. I didn't know that. Yes, Jane, you did. You did know that. I didn't know we had a time. We have been trying to get you up here. It's about been pulling teeth. You finally arrive. I told you multiple times, 9 a.m. this morning. Where were you? I overslept. I was at Adam's and I overslept. It was an accident. What happened to your shirt? I spilled wine on my shirt. So you were out with Adam drinking and... I wasn't, that was more important. I wasn't out with Adam. I was at Adam's was house. Important. And it's not more important. That's not fair. It was an accident, and I said I'm sorry. Jane, I know our relationship has been complicated. I know that. And if you didn't want to do this for me, then I would have thought you would have thought of someone else. Maybe your father? Your brother? This has been really hard for us. Really hard for us. It's hard for me, too. That's not, like... I'm waiting to hear whether we'll have permission to do it tomorrow. Do you think you can make it then? Yes, I can make it tomorrow. All right. Go change your clothes. 
I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm I know, sorry. Jane, I know you didn't. Go change your clothes. Is that the script? Yes. It's done, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. You wanna go to the spot? I really wanna scan this and get it sent to Annette because I just, I don't want it. I literally don't want it in my hands anymore. It's gonna be dusk. <sighs> Fine. Five minutes? Five minutes. ago or something at least right yeah the graduation party mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard some stories you could write a book about that party probably <laughs> you know being out here it's I don't know I think it'll be nice to um, to finally lay him to rest, mm -hmm. put his ashes out there, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's kind of like a finality to it that, that I, I don't know, I want. 
Mm-hmm. And I think mom needs it. You need it, I don't know. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. What's up? Um, I thought this was going to be one of the last times they came here. What do you mean? I wrote mom a letter. Basically saying that, uh, I didn't think we should be in each other's lives anymore. Jesus Christ. Did you give it to her? No. We were right the other day. You know, we have, like, very limited time. You know, and I... She's been... She's been really sweet. Okay. I mean, it's just a letter. That shirt I had on with the wine stain on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mom was scrubbing the shit out of it. <laughs> It's like cleaning it up. Your mom really loves you. I just was... I wish it wasn't so hard all the time, you know? All right. If you don't give mom that letter, mm -hmm. I'll read the book, and I'll come and visit you in New York. Don't fuck with me. She loves you, so... That's... The price I have to pay. I'll do it. Deal. I love you, and I want you to come and see us. Yeah. So I'll get in luck. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should go before you break down again. We've opened the gates. Mom, are you bitch! You cunt! You cunt! You cunt! How dare you! What is this? What is this? I found this in your room when I went to do your laundry. What is this? Mom, you were not supposed to. I wasn't going to give that to you. These are horrible things you're saying to me. Horrible things you do. You don't want to have contact with it anymore. You don't want to see me anymore. You weren't supposed to find that. It you was... don't love me. That's not true. You don't love me. It That's what not... it says right here. It's not true. That you don't want to see me anymore. That's not That's... true. That you don't want to spend time with me. That's, That's not true, Mommy. We you weren't supposed to find me. it. You said I'd put you in a hole. <laughs> I never put you in a hole, you little bitch. How could you? You think I never did anything for you? All I ever did for you kids was love you. Oh my All I ever did was love you. This is not love, Mom. This I is not love. I have done everything for you. I was never good enough for you. Are you fucking out of your mind? Your father is who you think. Yo, you worship your father. So you're always sniffing around. What are you talking about? That is not oh, true. Don't think I didn't see how you looked at him. What? Sniffing around, wearing your little tube top. What are you talking about? 
talking no. about? I am the one who took care of you. You think your father is so great? You True. are the product of marital rape. Oh my God. You think I would let your father touch me with those filthy hands? He stunk his whole life. Do you okay. hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? No, you think you're so special. You think your father loved you? He wanted me to abort you. That is not true. It is true. No, it's he not. He wanted a boy. And he didn't get one, did he? He got a miserable little girl with no talent. Oh, I read your, I read your miserable little script. You call yourself a writer, an artist? What well, is put this it down. shit? Put it this down. This is bullshit. These dirty words. There's no talent here. Mom, put it you down. You should have let me read it. Put it down. Oh, down. oh, I'll put it down right where it belongs. Where put it there. What the fuck is going on in here? Jane, let me in. Stop it! Let me in! Stop saying that! Do you hear me? You let me in. You think you can get away with me? You can't get away from me! Oh, you're gonna pay for this! Do you hear me? I did everything for you, kids! Open this door, Jane! Open this door! You open this door right now, do you hear me? Open it! Open this door now! Open the door! Jane, let me in. Let me in, cunt. Let me in. How dare you do this to me? How dare you do this to me? Please, please let me in. Jane, I need to come in there and, and give you a hug. Please let me in. Oh, please let me in. Jane, Jane, please let me in. Please let me in. Let me in, God damn it! Open this door. Why won't you open this door for me right now? Open it. Did you hear me? I want this door open right now. This is my house. My house. You let me in my house. You can't do this. You can't do this. I'm kicking you out. Do you hear me? I want you to pack your bags and get out right now. Pack them.
Jane? Jane, honey, it's mom. Jane, it's time to go. We're going to be late. Jane, I'm coming in, okay? <laughs>